Okay, so I hope all of you have already started practicing uh, typing. And uh, students who are in CS2 definitely have uh, done CM1 or CS1. But there are a few students who are giving CS2 um, and has not given any other this typing paper. Uh, so two, three things I will discuss first before moving ahead, because um, I feel that CS2 typing is not very difficult. Just that few topics that is time series, um, then I think uh, Markov, these are the two topics I feel where you have a little bit integration, some um, symbols and all that. So typing perspective, it's not very difficult, but the only thing which is a little difficult is the time management. Okay. So I have seen students that they, uh, although they knew the answer, but they could not complete the paper because of their typing speed. So you have one month time and it's a very good time that if you were not in a good habit of typing now, you should only be typing. You should not be using um, any pen and paper now. Uh, try to show as many important steps as possible. Um, also try to solve as many questions in MS Word. You can sit and you can solve the entire, entire past papers. That is how you can understand that whether you are going slow, fast, um, completing it on time or whatever, and where you have to work upon. That is one thing where you can judge yourself. Secondly, very important is um, see words per count, words per second, per minute. All these things are not very important. Uh, if you're completing your paper on time, at least the things you know, you are able to answer that. Until then, I feel you are actually in a good speed. So that is very important. Um, you can use whatever you want. If you want to use equation editor, you can use that. If you want to use notations, you can use notations. If you want to use both, you can use both. They have also given you permission to use Excel. So you, if, for example, in the survival, we have tables like uh, Captain Mayor Nelson Allen, if you have to calculate, if you have to make a table for that, you can do that on Excel. Um, maybe I can just quickly uh, show it to you. And then you can just paste it in Word. Just what they want to see is whether you are showing the steps properly or not. That is very, very important to uh, IFA. Also, one very important thing is that uh, whatever solution you see on examiner's report is not the complete solution. That's an indicative solution. So for example, if you're solving past papers and if you see the examiner's report, and if you think that only these many steps are needed in your exam, that is not the case because they will show just two, three steps. That's an indicator solution. They are giving you an idea that how you can achieve this particular answer. But again, you have to show more steps than what you see in examiner's report. That is extremely important because otherwise they are going to deduct marks. And I have seen in CS2, the most places where students lose marks in first is the um, steps where they lose marks in. So for example, they are not showing all the steps properly. Um, and second is obviously commenting. That's again, something which is obviously not related to typing. Uh, so these are the most important places where students lose marks in. So it's very important that you don't show unnecessary steps. Try to show as many as possible. And that is important. Now, I have also discussed in my classes, what is the difference between few words like describe, uh, discuss, um, then explain, prove. These are the words which needs greater explanation. And then you have words like determine, state, um, which, what. So just when, when, when they just want you to um, give you the answer and not explain a lot. So these are the words that I have al already explained in my classes. Now I will quickly share my screen. Uh, if you have any doubt, you all can put that in the chat box. I will be, um, this is the uh, recent most handbook of September 24 released by IFA. <clears throat> and here are a few uh, mathematical and statistical notations that they are using. So for multiplication, you can use this uh, cross or you can use this star mark division. You can use this approximately equal you can use this so i you all can just go through this list you all can download this you can just type ifo examination handbook september 24 you can get this 
page 30 onwards, you will see that they have put in all the mathematical notations that you can use. XIJ is something which I any try to uh, write in a way which is saving time. Okay, they will understand whatever you are writing. For example, they will understand this also. They will understand this. But I would have used this because it uses less uh, letters. So try to use things. I would use expo exp because exp is better to understand. Because then e to the power x, if you're writing a very big equation, then it will not. Then sometimes you may miss a bracket or something. But this is more helpful. Um, x bar, x hat. I think these are the places, uh, these are the Greek letters which we are using a lot. Now, in Greek letters, either you can pronounce it like you can write mu, sigma in words, or um, there is one more thing which I'll show you when I'll move to the shortcuts, which also you can use. So, uh, then infinity is there, f dash, f double dash, d, d, f, or d, uh, by ds, you can write integration, you can write int. I hope you, uh, those who have seen the videos already, are knowing this. Um, so I'm just uh, quickly going through this particular part. Uh, you can see how they show integration int a comma b, meaning it's it goes from a to b, and then they give a colon. So then they give a colon, and then whatever you want to write within the integration that you are writing. So I think this is a very nice way of showing. If you want to use brackets, also you can use brackets. Similarly, uh, this is the solved integration, so you can write this giving a colon and then writing these in brackets the examiner will understand like here also in first brackets they have written so they will understand that you are actually uh, talking about the limits so it should be legible understandable they will understand summation is again uh, just like integration int you are writing i i will not suggest writing sigma i will suggest writing summation all right summation a uh, to b and then again see this is how they represent the limit and whatever is there within the summation same goes for product i will suggest again writing this product and then again the limits and colon and then whatever is within the this is also something which we use a lot in cs2 expectation you can just write e this given you can write like this also i mean you can use this pipe symbol which is there on uh, top of your enter button right Variance, covariance, chi square. You can instead of obviously you cannot write this. You can simply spell it. Whatever you feel that you cannot write, you can just quickly spell it. I don't think spelling it will take a lot of time, and it can obviously, uh, you know, you are actually you are saving your time. You are not thinking a lot about it. That how should I represent this? So you can quickly write it. Then this is a combination. So n choose r. Uh, you can also write c. So you can just simply write n capital C r. That also you can write. They will understand. Right. These are something which we don't use a lot uh, in CS2. Uh, but yeah, lx dx somewhere you can use in uh, survival portion. So make sure lx, L, ly, whatever it is, we're writing in capitals. The only reason we're writing in capitals, because if you write just small l, uh, you will see that it either looks like a 1, or uh, sometimes they might skip it. Like, they will not understand. But if you're writing capital L, it's more legible. You can write small l. That's not an issue. But writing a capital L will definitely be better, right? Otherwise, the dx and all that q, p, these are all in small letters. These are something that we actually don't need. So I feel that these are the basic notations which are which we can easily use. I generally uh, prefer using notations rather than equation editor. But it's entirely up to you. You can use whatever you want. These are the very good, uh, like quick shortcuts. I can share this file with you all as well. Control S is something which you definitely have to use all the time after saving, after completing one answer. Control Z undo. These are shortcuts. Uh, again, I'm just I have highlighted basic shortcuts which we need a lot. Control C, copy, paste, bold, italics. All these we know. Uh, you can use these shortcuts uh, to increase or decrease the font. For example, if you're writing anything, you move to the next line. You want to increase the font size. Control and less like that bracket or uh, opening bracket is decreasing the font and control and this closing bracket will increase the font. So I can just quickly show you. Control, decrease. Like I just clicked on the opening bracket. 
and this is control plus opening back so these are also this is something which i also use so you can use uh, these um i will these are not required a lot also i use this uh, shortcut of changing control shift i i mean i generally use to increase the font i use control shift and greater than uh, symbol which the dot in the key where you have this full stop and greater than symbol you can just use that or less than but that is control shift so i generally use this right instead of using control and this what i use is control shift and this sign this is what i use yes am i audible i think something just happened okay to ye mai use karti hu all uh, for the less than matlab if you use less than sign then it will decrease the font so this is what i use i use this one rather than these two so you can use whatever um i think these are not very important um one more shortcut which um i had to show you all i think it's not there over here mm -mm -mm. one second hmm so this uh, shortcut which i was talking about is control shift q so i think some of you might be knowing it some of you not for example now if you see it's in calibri and uh, so this basically changes to symbol changes the font to symbol so basically um, i'm just typing okay i'm just simply typing over here now uh, you can see it's calibri and the font size is all this that's fine now for example if i just press control shift q control shift q so you can see that this font is changed to symbol now right and now if i be i'll be uh, using like i'll be typing any letter it will automatically get converted into a greek letter so i'm pressing q so it's giving me this uh, theta um then i'm pressing w okay i actually change to this theek hai to w will give me ye kyu nahi aa raha hmm w will give me omega then so it changes back to calibri every time i can just click on control uh, shift q symbol aa gaya and then for example lambda so you can just write l so l gives you lambda l gives you lambda similarly control shift q s gives you sigma uh control shift q i think t gives us um tau control shift q so you can just see um what all you want r gives you rho i think p also gives us um this pi so i think commonly what we use is a uh, theta we use lambda we use pi we use rho we use sigma a lot so s um vega is there which i uh, again sorry this is your um, new new is something we use a lot new uh, new mu mu is m so you can write m it gives you mu uh, what else बोलो और हम लोग क्या ग्रीक लेटर्स यूज करते हैं अब अगर सिग्मा स्क्वायर लिखना है सो हाउ विल वी राइट सिग्मा स्क्वायर एस एंड देन टू या फिर यू कैन जस्ट राइट दिस सिग्मा स्क्वायर दिस इज हाउ यू कैन राइट सिग्मा स्क्वायर ठीक है वॉट एल्स टेल मी वॉट एल्स डू वी यूज अ लॉट मैम um zai i think uh, maine kal dekha tha i was actually pressing all the keys to mujhe zai maine dekha i think was ha why zai is why so control uh, why aap karoge to aapko uh zai milega 
आई थिंक वेन यू जस्ट यू नो सिट डाउन एंड जो जो आप इम्पोर्टेंट है एंड आपको याद नहीं करना है बिकॉज आई थिंक दिस इज समथिंग विच यू शुड नॉट लाइक पुट सो मच स्ट्रेन ऑन दिस इज समथिंग विच आई केम अक्रॉस यू कैन यूज इट वन मोर थिंग इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू यूज द शॉर्टकट यू कैन गो टू इंसर्ट यू कैन पुट यूज द सिम्बल्स ओवर योर एंड वट एवर कॉमनली यूज सिम्बल्स यू हैव यू कैन पुट इट ओवर योर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल गो टू मोर सिम्बल्स here in greek and coptic you have all the possible symbols you have lambda you have vega you have mu you have uh you have uh this um theta you have beta alpha ha huh? so alpha beta is also a and b is gives you alpha beta you have pi rho sigma tau you have all these different um you can use 4 5 suppose i am using let's say suppose i am using this omega so it uh, if you the moment you use this it uh, this is xi phi bhi hota hai phi i think humne abhi kiya na phi phi i think p karne se pi aayega f karke dekho i think phi aayega i guess not sure so phi i think aapka uh, p karne se aayega f karne se and then xi we saw is y um omega i think o karne se aayega not very sure theta i showed you is a uh, q i think q is theta to aap log is pe zyada strain mat dalo you just use it and just you know what happens is this all this that you have used recently it comes over here in the recently used uh, symbols so you can either use it i will definitely prefer the approach of typing mu of typing uh, sigma because it definitely saves a time control shift q so for example you are pressing control shift q then you are typing m you might not understand kya hai lambda kis se but typing lambda is just one second so i think you can do that theek hai uh once you go so this is one way this is a uh, one way of typing in the letters uh another thing which uh, also i you can use is the equation editor ठीक है हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू यूज इक्वेशन एडिटो टेल मी जस्ट रेज योर हैंड्स क्विकली हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू यूज इक्वेशन एडिटो some of you i have not seen so equation editor i have seen only uh, very few people use equation editor so i think equation editor is also something which you can use a detailed class of that is already given to you but i'll just quickly show you it's all equal to that you press alt equal to use this left wala alt space bar ke left mein jo alt hai equal to this equation editor opens up now you have to use this backward slash to you know um write in anything that you want so for example here the moment you write uh, alt equal to all these have come up so you can either use it from here or you can just simply type in uh just one sec thoda hang ho jata hai mera iska excel i don't know why just give me one second i'll open a new word theek hai to alt equal to wala cheez bhi aap kar sakte ho ha i think there is a problem with this excel this word file theek hai koi baat nahi I have shown you all the shortcuts. I will. So now, Alt equal to, ठीक है? Use this. For example, if you write lambda, press Enter and it changes to. See, it changes to lambda. ठीक है? What else? For example, you have to write integration, I N T. <clears throat> Not just I N T will give you integration, but for example, if you want to write integration, lower limit, upper limit. then you can write int for upper limit lower limit this is 
if you give this underscore, this will give you the lower limit. And caret symbol P, space. Just click on space. This gives you. Now, for example, you want to write FX DX. So this is how you, and if you want to come out of it, you can just uh, press this. तो ये आप ऐसे कर सकते हो इसका डिटेल्ड क्लास मैंने डाल रखा है आई थिंक यू माइट हैव सीन आल्सो आई हैव इन दैट सिंबल्स इन दिस शॉर्टकट्स फोल्डर फाइल ओनली आई हैव फ्यू कॉमनली यूज्ड थिंग्स व्हिच यू कैन यूज सो हियर Acha, one more thing. Uh, if you get a lot of red lines and green lines, and if you want to remove that because वो बहुत अजीब लग जाता है, आप जब symbols देखोगे, formulas देखोगे, functions, provings करोगे, you will get a lot of green and red lines. If you want to remove that, you can go to file, ठीक है, options, and then यहाँ पे proofing है, you can just go and remove it, hide the spellings and grammar error in this file only. Don't do it for all the word files. You don't need that. Maybe for the time being, when you're doing it till exam, you can remove it from all the files. I'm not doing it, but you can just remove it from all the word files. So, आपको वो green lines and red lines you will not get. Um, again, these are the few shortcuts. Like these are the few things which, if you want, you can uh, write. So, I have this detailed explanation. Uh, also, these are the shortcuts. See, uh, x. Carrot two will give give you x square. This underscore. Then, um, अगर आपको ये left arrow देना है, so this is how right arrow, up arrow, all the different arrows are there. Then different symbols not equal to, equal to, approximately equal to. Some for some also you can have this just like integration. And if you also want to give the limits some, then underscore and carrot symbol for lower and upper limit. ठीक है. So these are different uh, shortcuts which you can also see go through. All the Greek letters are also given. Um, so that yeah, that's it. These are the different equation editor things which you can use. Now, um, what I will do is next thing. For example, I was uh, solving this September twenty nineteen question paper. Here, this one question, question number six. So, see, these are if you want to make a table like this, you can either insert a table here itself, go to insert tables, and you can insert table over here itself, and there you can just simply write in the rows uh, and solve. But I will not suggest this. I will suggest you do it in Excel because Excel me calculations we have to be very quickly doing. ZX के अन्य सारे and then you can just paste it over here. ठीक है. There is one more thing which IFO gives is this specimen. Um, see every like this is the old specimen which is there. Um, ठीक है ये specimen है which they released in 2020. So if you want, you can also go through this once. Where they have, you know, uh, solved this 2019 paper, and they have guided you how you have to uh, proceed ahead. For example, I was showing you that table. So this, you can just have a look in this question. They will not give you MCQ, IFO. I don't think if they give you an MCQ, then it's fine. If they don't, then um, you have to obviously do the typing now. In the MCQ, you have to uh, just write the final answer. You don't have to give any explanation. And final answer is also you just have to give the uh, letters like A B C D. Means, आपको B C D कुछ भी जो भी है भी आपको वो लिखना है. You don't have to write whatever उसके अंदर is. Um, तो ये वाला जो है ना specimen, you can go through the specimen also. Just go and search for C S two specimen and या फिर सी एस टू स्पेसिमेन लिखोगे तो वो आई एफ ए पास पेपर खुल जाएगा आई शो यू दिस इज वेर यू कैन गेट इट सी एस टू स्पेसिमेन यू जस्ट ओपन दिस पास पेपर जस्ट स्क्रोल डाउन 
एंड यहाँ पे ये सारे स्पेसिमेंस हैं सो यू कैन डाउनलोड आई डोंट थिंक बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है आप लोगों ने कर लिया ये सारे चीज़ें हमने भी क्लासेस में कराए हैं तो एंड मैंने इस बार सारे टाइप टाइपिंग की क्लासेस ही आपको बोला था टाइप ही करने सो नॉट अ वेरी बिग डील हाँ बस एक टेबल जो है वो मैं आप लोगों को दिखा देती हूँ लाइक हाउ टू कॉपी पेस्ट फ्रॉम एक्सेल टू वर्ड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल नेल्सन आलन करते हैं ठीक है अगर नेल्सन आलन का कोई क्वेश्चन आता है सो क्विकली टेल मी डू यू गाइज रिमेम्बर वट वर दिंग्स दैट वी नीड एक हमें चाहिए होता है वॉट द फर्स्ट थिंग इज जे है ना लेट्स सपोज थ्री है जेज फिर क्या चाहिए होता है टीजे टाइम है ना तो आप टाइम्स लिख दोगे जो भी आपके टाइम्स है देन आप डीजे लिखते हो एनजे सीजे बहुत बार जरूरत नहीं होता सो वी डोंट राइट सीजे नाउ वॉट यू कैन डू दे आर टू थ्री वेज डीजे एनजे समथिंग विच यू विल डेफिनेटली राइट ओवर योर बट अगेन इफ द मार्क्स इज अटल हायर यू विल ऑल्सो हैव टू एक्सप्लेन कि ये डीजे एन जे कहाँ से आ रहे हैं तो बहुत बार यू विल सी ना सेंसरिंग होता है दो टाइम्स के बीच में सो यू एक्सप्लेन आई हैव लाइक टॉट यू दिस इन माई क्लास वेन आई सी दैट एट टाइम वन सपोज यू स्टार्ट विथ ट्वेंटी पीपल ठीक है एंड डीजे लेट सपोज इट्स टू तो यहाँ पे इट इज नॉट एटीन इट इज लेट सपोज सेवनटीन सो यू कैन से दैट एट एन टू ठीक है Equals to seventeen because there was one censoring between time one and two. Yeah, if there is a censoring at time one, censoring happens after death. So you can explain that in words. Upper me quickly two minutes lagega, and then you can give the answers where is this coming from. Now we have lambda j. Now again you can do is you can write lambda j pura pura, or uh, you can also use the symbol uh, from here. Again, I think mu lambda. These are kuch kuch symbol you can keep over here. यहाँ पे रिसेंटली यूज में आ जाएगा सो लैमडा कहाँ है बाइका ये तो ना सो इफ यू वंस यू यूज इट वो यहाँ आ जाएगा रिसेंटली यूज में आई थिंक अगर इतना टाइम लग रहा है आप टाइप कर दो लैमडा ठीक है तो लैमडा क्या है वो इक्वल टू दे के आप लिख सकते हो कि वॉट इज लैमडा हाउ आर यू कैलकुलेटिंग लैमडा यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग एज डी जे बाई एन जे इफ यू आर डूइंग दिस कैपलिन में ठीक है तो ऐसे आप कर सकते हो um, या फिर वन मोर थिंग विच आई हैव सीन सम पीपल डू इज दे गिव द कॉलम्स लाइक कॉलम का नाम दे देते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल या तो इसके ऊपर uh, देंगे सो so वे the shortcut i used to insert more rows and columns is control shift plus for adding rows control minus for deleting rows columns b c d e ye column ke names aap de sakte ho ya fir aap 1 2 3 bhi likh sakte ho roman numbers and then for example yahan pe you can do that e is equal to c by d so it's understood ki aapne kiya kya hai and also you can show it over here as well 2 by 20 is equal to just type in the answer theek hai jo bhi aapka answer aa raha hai and then yahan se aap simply jaise karna hai waise karo theek hai so once you have it you can definitely alt h b a use the shortcut alt h b a to add all the uh, borders this will help you and control c kara word mein jayenge and then just paste it over here ठीक है, so this you can easily do. I don't think this is completely self-explanatory. Just that obviously where these numbers are coming from, some numbers you have to explain. It will take two three minutes. You have to explain. And since you are using Excel, your speed is saved because you don't have to use your calculator. You can quickly calculate in Excel itself. So this is one way of doing it. I feel uh, nothing in time series. Yes, you have lot of equations. But there is no other alternative. You have to type it. So, for that, you have to typing speed improve. Karna and you have to look for ways what is easy for you, what is working out for you. Uh, typing the letters or typing the uh, like 
स्पेलिंग इट लैमडा या लैमडा लिखना या फिर इक्वेशन एडिटर यूज करना वट एवर यू फील इज कन्वीनियंट यू डू दैट ठीक है देर इज नो हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल की आपको यही फॉलो करना है एग्जामिनर को समझ में आना चाहिए वॉट यू हैव डन ऑल राइट एनी क्वेश्चन आई कैन टेक नाउ जो भी आपको क्वेश्चन आप लोग पूछ सकते हो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस विल बी पे नहीं भूमि आई थिंक इट्स नॉट नीडेड मतलब मैंने आई थिंक इधर कंट्रोल वी करा था ठीक है I don't think मेरा कैसे पेस्ट हुआ है मेरा डेस्टिनेशन वाला नहीं हुआ है हाँ मतलब डेस्टिनेशन आप करना चाहते हो तो क्योंकि आपके फोन अच्छा एक चीज आपको करना है जैसे यहाँ पे मेरा फोन कुछ और है एंड यहाँ पे फोन कुछ और है तो ये मत करना आप अपने पूरे एक्सेल को सिलेक्ट करके जस्ट चेंज इट इन कैलिब्री एंड कीप इट इलेवन एंड देन यू कैन सिलेक्ट एंड पेस्ट तो ये भी कैलिब्री इलेवन है मेक श्योर आप पूरा डॉक्यूमेंट कंट्रोल ए करके भी आप एक बार इसको कैलिब्री कर दो ताकि वो सेम फॉन्ट में रहे ठीक है एंड तो वो चीज आप कर सकते हो डेफिनेटली कैलिब्री वाला चीज डेस्टिनेशन आई थिंक आप डेस्टिनेशन कर सकते हो यहाँ मैंने सोर्स रखा है बट एक बार ट्राई करो डेस्टिनेशन रख के क्या आएगा इट्स नॉट चेंजिंग फॉर मी आप डेस्टिनेशन भी बट अगर डेस्टिनेशन रखते हो तो भी सही है डेस्टिनेशन मीन्स जो भी फॉर्मेटिंग इज वर्ड फाइल का इट विल टेक दैट सोर्स इज वट एवर वॉज देर इन एक्सेल बट इफ यू आर यूजिंग बोथ कैलिब्री आइडली यू कैन यूज योर फोन साइज शुड बी इलेवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज ट्वेल्व ऑल्सो इज कम्प्लीटली फाइन ठीक है चलो वट एल्स आई विल बी हैविंग मनमोह क्लास एनी वेज नेक्स्ट वीक तो आप लोग और पूछ सकते हो मेट्रिक्स ठीक है तो मेट्रिक्स के लिए अगेन आई विल सजेस्ट यू कैन यूज एक्सेल ओनली फॉर मी एक्सेल इज अटल ईजी बट अगर आपको यहाँ पे इंसर्ट करना है टेबल यू कैन यूज इट और फॉर मेट्रिक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपका मेट्रिक्स आया पी आपको बनाना है विच इज लेट सपोज फोर फोर क्रॉस फोर मेट्रिक्स है तो बस कुछ नहीं ऑल टच बी ए यहाँ पे अपने वैल्यूज पुट इन कर दो अगर आपको रीनेमिंग भी करना होता है स्टेट्स को तो आप इसी के अंदर कर सकते हो कॉपी एंड पेस्ट इट ओवर दे ठीक है ट्रांजिशन ग्राफ इज समथिंग दिया विच डेफिनेटली आपको थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा जिससे यू कैन यूज दीज बॉक्सेस ठीक है एंड आई विल सजेस्ट कि जैसे ही आपका बॉक्स आया ना तो इसमें आप क्या कर सकते हो जैसे हम ये यूज कर रहे हैं इसको कॉपी करो एंड पेस्ट जैसे कितने बॉक्सेस होंगे सपोज तीन स्टेट्स बन रहे हैं या फिर मान लो फोर स्टेट्स बन रहे हैं सो यू कैन जस्ट पुट इन ओवर हेयर दे वांट टू सी कि आप इसमें फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज स्टेट अलाइव दिस इज विड्रॉल आई एम नॉट राइटिंग फुलफुल दिस इज इल हेल्थ दिस इज डेथ ठीक है एंड दे वॉन्ट टू सी द एरोज तो आप क्विकली जाओ इंसर्ट and you can use this arrow ye arrow banaya theek hai ab ek arrow bana diya na you can just copy and paste to ye aa gaya idhar aapko ekdam bahut stylish nahi banana hai thoda upar neeche hone se ekdam chalega koi problem nahi hai theek hai i'm just copy pasting aur kuch nahi ऑल दो विड्रॉल के बाद हम नहीं जाते हैं उधर बट ठीक है मतलब जो भी आप एरोज दिखा सकते हो अब एरोज के ऊपर भी लिखना होता है ना सो यू कैन क्विकली इंसर्ट और टेक्स्ट बॉक्स डेफिनेटली टाइम लगेगा बट मेक श्योर दे गिव यू द मार्क्स मतलब ऑब्वियसली अगर वो तुम्हें बोल रहे हैं कुछ करने तो वो उसका मार्क्स भी देंगे जैसे ये आपने एक टेक्स्ट बॉक्स उधर एड कर दिया इसके ऊपर ठीक है कॉपी करूँ पेस्ट या फिर आप सिंपली क्योंकि आप इधर जाके नहीं टाइप कर सकते ठीक है तो आप ऐसे टेक्स्ट बॉक्सेस ऐड करके उसमें आप कर सकते हो जी आप ठीक है टू मिनट्स लगा हाउ टू टर्न इमोजीज हाँ तो ये कंट्रोल जेड करना होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल बहुत बार क्या होता है जैसे 
जैसे यहाँ पे आ, हम करने वाले थे लेट्स सपोज ऐसे करके ब्रैकेट ओपन तो बन जाता है ना कंट्रोल जेड करती वो हट जाएगा लॉन्ग डिवीजन आएगा तो डिवीजन आपको यूज करके कर दिखाना है यू हैव टू शो इट आपको खाली लिखना है लॉन्ग डिवीजन अच्छा इंटरपोलेशन भी ऐसे कर सकते हो यूजिंग लीनियर इंटरपोलेशन एंड उसमें आपको पूरा फंक्शन वो पूरा लिखने का जरूरत नहीं होता लीनियर इंटरपोलेशन में आप खाली लिख सकते हो दैट एट लेट्स सपोज एट टू परसेंट आपका क्या वैल्यू है एट थ्री परसेंट क्या वैल्यू एंड सो द फाइनल वैल्यू इज दिस मच दैट इज लीनियर इंटरपोलेशन लॉन्ग डिविजन आई थिंक लॉन्ग डिविजन को जैसे समझाती हूँ मतलब आई थिंक लॉन्ग डिविजन आएगा नहीं अभी तक तो हैव एन सीन एंड लॉन्ग डिविजन एनी वेज आप उसके लिए करते हो वर्किंग्स के लिए करते हो ना तो वो उसका आई डोंट थिंक आएगा बट आई सी नेक्स्ट क्लास में मैं बता दूंगी लॉन्ग डिविजन वाला चीज एक बार मैं देखूंगी आई थिंक लॉन्ग डिविजन आएगा नहीं एंड आएगा तो वर्किंग में आता है ना वो येस यू कैन यूज बोथ भावेश मैंने स्टार्टिंग में ही बोल दिया था ठीक है सो लेट्स डू इट टिल हेयर नेक्स्ट वीक अगेन वन मोर क्लास आई कीप फॉर टाइपिंग एंड जो भी डाउट्स है ऑल कैन आस्क देर बट यार द ओनली मोटिव वॉज दैट यू गैज नाउ स्टार्ट टाइपिंग यूज एक्सेल अलॉट क्योंकि उससे आपका स्पीड बहुत इम्प्रूव होगा एंड आई फील कि आपको कैलकुलेटर का भी जरूरत बहुत कम पड़ेगा आप इसी में कर सकते हो अपने सारे कैलकुलेशन ईजी होगा मतलब बेटर दैन क्योंकि देखो क्या होता है मैं समझा रही हूँ फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपको ही प्रोबेबिलिटी या कुछ कैलकुलेट करो तो यू कैन जस्ट टाइप ओवर हेयर ऑल्सो ना जैसे आप मतलब कुछ कर रहे हो सो ऑब्वियसली यूल पुट दिस इक्वल टू साइन एंड गेट द आंसर आप यहाँ से ये वाला चीज कॉपी करके यू कैन पेस्ट ओवर हेयर एंड देन यू कैन फाइनली गिव द आंसर ऐसे तो इससे क्या होगा आपको दो बार टाइप भी नहीं करना है जैसे कैलकुलेटर में कर रहे हैं फिर इधर कर रहे हैं इंस्टेड यू टाइप ओवर हेयर यू टुक द आंसर पुट इट ओवर हेयर तो ईजी हो जाता है that also you can do um yeah that's it i think um most of the things i've tried to cover um you can what you all can do is whatever questions you have you can put it in one place i will uh, in um maybe i will ask you in the class and then jo wo sare questions honge i'll take it up in the next class yeah theek okay. hai बस द ओनली थिंग इज प्लीज स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग नाउ बिकॉज इट्स नॉट वेरी इजी सी एस टू एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टाइपिंग शुड बी अ कंस्ट्रेंट टू क्लियर योर एग्जाम ठीक है बाय बाय थैंक यू